All right, what's up, guys? Jr. here. It is Friday, May eighth, twenty twenty, and uh, we're gonna do something a bit different today. I have the the micro chart loaded up instead of the ES chart. I've actually been looking at the micro chart compared to my ES chart, and um, for some reason, my signal bars tend to be a bit better on here. Not exactly sure why, but I've been noticing that I have a bit more entries on the micro compared to the ES with uh, better bars. So we're going to go ahead and trade this today and see how things go. Um, so far in the overnight, we had a move up, a uh, leg down, another attempt to go lower. There's a two leg correction in here, so we'll see if we get another leg down similar to this. So this is your first leg down, one leg of correction, another leg of correction in there, and then a second leg. And then we'll see if we can get <clears throat> a leg down similar to this and maybe a failed break beneath this little area of support. We'll see if we pop back up inside there or if we just continue going lower and come down here to these lows or maybe even those lows. So we'll have to see what happens, but in the meantime, um, we'll just uh, we'll see what's going on and then we'll look to take a trade. All right, so so far, it's looking like we might get that um, two legs down with a failed break out of this. Uh, if we do continue going higher, I'd expect another measured leg like this up. I also drew this off of uh, these first couple swings, just so that way we can be aware of it once we do hit this area. Uh, we didn't quite make it down to the low, the lower end of the trend line, so we'll see about that. And um, once again, if this continues going higher, then I would expect another measured leg up, since this is a nice two-leg correction in there with another two legs. So <clears throat> that could very well be the center of the pattern. But um, we'll see what happens. All right, so there's a little um, second entry long, higher low right here. It's just it's right back up into these highs, so I can't take that. But I feel like this might work. I like this setup, but it's right back into these highs, so I have to wait and see maybe if we can pull back down to here again. Um, this was kind of like a little breakout pullback retest of these lows. Yeah, and that thing's popping off, but we don't know if it's going to turn down right there or not, and that's why you can't really take that trade. It's probably going to go through it, but yeah, it's gone. That's a nice setup. That sucks, but you have to be aware of this. <clears throat> so we'll see if we can find another one. All right. Um, I put my trend line right back up there just so we can see. We're right at it right now. Uh, this was the setup. It just took off. There's a second entry short right here, but I'm not going to short that blindly. Um, just due to the fact that we didn't, we didn't quite make it back down to these lows. And uh, I'm liking the overall setup and structure of this for, uh, where is it, for um, two legs of correction down, one leg right here, pull back, another leg right there, and then a measured leg up. So we'll see if we get that. If not, and if we turn down here, then we'll continue playing the range, and we'll see if we come back down here to these lows. But in the meantime, just going to... Uh, sit tight and see if this line actually holds or not all right so there's a double test of this trend line with the lower high right there pretty bearish bar um, we're gonna see if we can get a scalp off this if it triggers because it's coming right off the trend line granted we didn't make it to the lows on this this might not even trigger right here but with that double test and this nice bullish bar and then a tick up and then a turn down with a pretty bearish bar if we're gonna go lower that's a pretty good setup to go lower um, so we'll just see what happens if it doesn't trigger then we'll skip it it is going a bit sideways right here and uh, it's looking like we have some strength to the upside so we this line might not hold and we might just punch through that but if we do turn down I have a stop ready to go short yeah that thing's going higher so and that's another reason why we didn't take this first second entry right there because that's a tempting looking setup let me see if it would have worked no it would have been a four tick failure initially and uh, one way you can know to not take that is because first and foremost we didn't we didn't make it to the lower end of the trend line so that means most likely we're going to overshoot it in the opposite direction also um, the bias was up and then you have two clear legs down so this is looking like it's probably going to be the center of the pattern so you can expect another measured leg up this is a trading range as well you just had a failed break out of the bottom you came back and you retested the lows right there so most likely you're headed up to these highs and the only reason why I considered going short right here is because you have a, a lower high as well and then a second um, a second test of this line right there at that point after a strong bullish bar so 
at that point I figured okay if we're gonna go lower um, this is the setup to, to try to get short on anyway so but yeah those those are just some reasons why you probably wouldn't want to take that initially just due to the overall structure and the context of what's occurring here on the chart granted it's a nice looking second entry far away from the EMA right off the trend line but there's reasons to not take that so yeah and as it would have been a four tick failure anyway so yeah, it sucks that I didn't take this, but that's right back up into that resistance. But there's reasons, there's arguments to take that anyways, regardless of this uh, this resistance there. So, because you figure you're coming back up here to these highs, and you just came off the lows after a failed break and then a clear retest of them. So there's definitely reasons to take that right off the EMA bullish bar. And then let me just show you briefly what I mean about um, my micro kind of having better uh, better setups than. Uh, then my ES chart. <clears throat> this is kind of difficult. I don't know how to structure this, but just just to show you this current setup right here, that would have been it right there. There's no signal. There's no setup. There's also a higher low right here. I would have liked that if the bar had been a little bit more bullish. There's nothing there. It's just overlap. Um, you could have gotten a scalp on that. There's a failed second entry short right there. Not really a fan of that. Uh, it's just the first entry on this chart. Nice, beautiful higher low right there chop right there there's also another setup there's this um this little lower high right there and as you can see you don't really have that on this chart you just end up with a bullish bar you can't really go short underneath that you have you still have the, these two setups right there and um it's the same up top here but other than that you get one two three more opportunities to possibly enter on this micro chart compared to this ES chart and that's just something I've been noticing for the past couple um, past couple days and past couple weeks actually because I have two monitors set up I mainly look at the ES and I just kind of keep the, the MES in the background I'm not really paying that much attention to it but when I've been looking at it at the end of the day I notice the setups on it are I seem to have better bars and I seem to have slightly more entries on most days so I've been giving it a try. I traded it yesterday, and we're going to trade it again today. So we'll see. <clears throat> but I'm just going to go back to pause. I feel like I just spent too much time talking, and I don't want this video to get too long. So, yeah, we'll be back. Welcome. All right, so it hasn't really been much going on today. There's a nice second entry short coming right off these range highs, so I went ahead and took that. It's moving down pretty quickly. All right, so we just got the first target move my stop to break even plus one I think at a minimum we're coming down here um, we might catch the high and come all the way back down to these lows uh, this is the measured move of basically this leg up right here and then you have a two leg correction back down to the range lows and then that's the uh, it's the measured move right there so we went right up there to the tick basically and turned down nice strong bear signal bar that's a great trade um, fortunately I was able to catch that this is the only trade I've taken all day today it's been really slow um, kind of methodical kind of day and yeah that worked out really nicely let me go ahead and mark that trade and then I'll call it a day because it's late it's 106 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I was actually getting ready to cut this thing off and scrap the video because I figured I wasn't gonna get a trade and that was that typically I like to be done by around about this time so this runner's at four points. Um, I think these lows are the initial target. They might hold, they might not hold. I probably should assess what I'm gonna do with this runner and be a little bit more strategic on this, but let's just hang tight and see what happens on this. But that's a very nice setup. It's a second entry short. Um, counting this as a double bottom, so we'll just say this is your first entry right there, pull back, and then that's gonna be your second entry beautiful bearish signal bar it's right off the range highs we clearly have two legs up with the two leg correction inside of there very nice short signal bar and um, just to compare and contrast with my ES chart just to show you guys what I was talking about again let me drag this on up damn it okay so there's no there's no entry right there on this ES chart but I have a beautiful entry right there on my micro chart and as you can see it worked out pretty nicely and we're bouncing off these lows so We'll see if we get the runner. If we don't get the runner, then that'll be that. But I'm not surprised that um, we're getting a bounce right there because this is where a bit of support is. So it won't be surprising if this holds. But, um, yeah, there's clearly a difference between these two charts. And for some reason, my, my micro tends to print a bit nicer than 
my ES chart. So as you can see, we have a first entry, second entry, third entry, fourth entry with a, a semi semi bullish doji. And then basically, I'm just counting this as a double bottom, first entry, second entry, beautiful setup right there. So yeah, um, just going to go to pause and I'll come back when something happens with this runner. So far, we have our stop at break even plus one. So if we get stopped out right there, then it is what it is. I'm done for the day. And if we drop on down through these lows, then um, yeah, we'll get that four point target. The smarter thing to do is probably just to tighten this up because there's no guarantee that we're going to push through here. But if we did catch the high, this is the, the spot where you want to look for runners on a range day. You know, the failed breakouts are coming directly off the highs or coming directly off the lows. This is kind of like a failed breakout. You may have considered that one, but it was just chop and then a little drop down. I would have liked this if there was a, a higher low or a double test or something, but it was just kind of a quick little thing. And then we took off and I don't really see any way to enter this for the remainder of the way up. And... Um, yeah, I think we talked about all this. There was that higher low right there. In hindsight, I should have taken that because that would have been a very nice trade. Then I don't really have anything in here. Just not really many entries for me today. So there were entries before the uh, the 930 market open. It was a nice, uh, this is the second entry short right here. It's also a lower high. And if you notice, you have one leg down then two legs of correction. That's a nice lower high. You have, you're a good way away from the EMA. Um, bearish signal bar, uh, second entry short. And then you get that long trap right there. You know, nice bullish bar, pullback, bearish bar. It's right back down into the EMA after you bounced off of it. And as you can see, we didn't go far initially before we bounced again. But I wouldn't have been afraid to take that short right there. Because you can count that like a second entry long. That just failed. So first entry right there, pullback, second entry. And um, yeah, that was a nice trade. You had another lower high right there. You could have taken that. And those are pretty much the only trades that I see so far. This is debatable. My bar wasn't that great. Um, yeah, there's that higher low, but I'm just going to go to pause. I don't want this video to get too long, so I'll be back when something happens. All right, so there's a clear triple bottom right here. Um, I'm just going to let it ride. I'm going to see how this bar closes, and if it closes bearish, I'll just go ahead and slide my stop one tick above that. Uh, if we continue to punch on through that, we'll see, but if this holds, I definitely won't be surprised by that at all. So we'll just see what happens. Um, I might get stopped out. I might not, but I'm um, just going to let it ride and see. Alright, so this bar just closed as a doji. Let's just go ahead and tighten our stop one tick above that, then that'll make it um, break even plus two, so um, a half point. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, so we're um, testing these lows again. If we punch straight through it, then we're probably just going to get swept away really quickly, and that'll give us the four points. Um, depending on how this bar closes, if it bounces off there, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take what I have and exit. But if we punch through there, we're gonna get swept away. And if not, if this pulls back and closes funny, like what it's looking like it's trying to do, I'm just gonna close it. should get this four points we just tapped off our um, our exit we managed to break this support I'm thinking we should turn down from here at least turn down enough to get this but um, we'll see And if not, if this bar turns up and closes really bullish, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close it. But the fact that we were able to break this, that's a good sign. So it should turn down. Let me just pause this so it doesn't get too long. Yeah, it's um it's looking pretty bullish. So we'll have to see. This might even be a long, but you know, I've I'm I at this point I don't care. I've mentally checked out for the day. It's going on 1:30 p.m. and uh it's been a really slow day. I've I've had enough. So I'm just glad to at least be able to get this one. And that's a that's a nice trade, so So 
So we shorted right at the highs. Beautiful setup. With this support, you know, that's not to be unexpected. Uh, to get a bounce there, that's you should you should expect that. So and this is kind of a mini range in and of itself. You notice we have matching lows, matching highs. That's a range in itself, so All right, that second entry long right there closed very bullish. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and close this. We ticked up and we turned down, but I think the smart thing would be to close this. So I think I'm going to go, yeah, let's just close this. Position closed. All right, that's it for the day, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This didn't turn out to be exactly what I anticipated but there's some there's some good information in here I think um, initially once we got this two legs of correction I was expecting another leg like this up uh, we ended up having two more legs of correction down right there that really kind of solidified the range so once we came up here to these highs and that was a perfect measured move um, you want to short that and uh, not necessarily be thinking too much about this unless we get a breakout to the upside and a continuation in that direction but other than that, this has been a really slow, kind of methodical, choppy day. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'll be back next week. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. And um, let me just explain this trade one more time. So pretty much we're ranging. We have a clearly defined range. The lows are defined. The highs are defined. This is our third, fourth touch of it. There's one leg up right here. And then you notice we have a two leg correction. So one leg down, drop, a second leg down. So that's probably going to be the center of your pattern. Then after you measure that, just go ahead and take this, drag it right on across. And as you can see, that's the exact target right there. And that lines up with the highs. So I had a bit of a double bottom. So I just went ahead and counted this as the new low in and of itself. And then you get a first entry short, pull back a second entry short right there. Beautiful bear signal bar right off the highs. You want to take that, and then if you draw your short-term trend line up, it um, doesn't necessarily matter how you draw it here because clearly you have a break once you start going sideways like that. So you know you have a break and then a push on up to a new high. You can kind of count that as two legs and just a beautiful signal bar. So, so it's a it's a beautiful trade. I like it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys sometime next week. This is Jr. and uh, have a good weekend. Take it easy.